Hey everyone and welcome back to Robbie's Backstage Bants. Today I have a very special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is Bradley Perry. I currently play Elmer in Disney's Newsies at the Troubadour Theatre. And uh, thank you for having me. Hey, it's absolutely my pleasure. Thanks for joining me. Now, um, Newsies is phenomenal. Uh, absolutely incredible show and I'm so pleased that it is in the UK disappointed that it's not staying for long though so if you haven't yet seen Newsies you should probably grab some tickets I'll leave a description link in the description and you can go and grab some now because it does end very soon which is not so good. only four weeks now four, four weeks, weeks to go everyone so grab your tickets because it is honestly a must see um, and you need to go you need to go watch it now the first question I have for you today is about sort of training and stuff like that. And it's quite a broad question. So take it however you you will. Uh, what is the journey of how you got to where you are today? Yeah, so I've kind of been at various different colleges. Um, I started off um, in this tiny dance school in the south of France. Um, so I've been I started there at the age of four, sort of followed my sister's footsteps into ballet, um, jazz and etc. And then I moved over to London to play the role of Billy in Billy, Billy Elliot the Musical. Wow. So I did that for about two years. And then I kind of rediscovered uh, a different kind of passion, particularly in the sort of musical theatre world. And I felt like I just had to pursue that. So I went to Arts Ed for uh, one year. Um, but at the time I was only in, I think it was year nine. So I couldn't, um, basically couldn't get a scholarship. Mm. Um, so it was quite expensive at the time. And I thought the best place for me would have been to go to the Brit school, um, which I did. And I studied the um, dance BTEC uh, for the first two years. And then for the final two years, I did the UAL extended level three diploma in dance again. Yeah. And then I basically just furthered my training, my vocational training into Lane Theatre Arts, where I really sort of, um, I guess, polished all the um, technical elements within musical theatre um, for three years. And that was the musical, the musical theatre level six diploma. Um, and now I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> now you're here. Fantastic. Now that is, you trained a fair few places. So it's nice to get a sort of feel for different, for different places and how they teach as well. And, and, and not everything works for everyone at the end of the day. That's that's one thing. Um, yeah. Then obviously, Newsies came along. Now, what was your audition process like for Newsies? Yeah, so this was interesting because I, I think part of my audition was actually at college because um, we had this, what they call um, third year. It's like a finishing pro project of that finalises the whole three years of training yeah. at Lane. Uh, and we worked on a musical called Made in Dagenham, uh, which was directed by um, Matt Cole and Jane McMurtry, um, who are obviously the choreographers of Newsies. Yes. Um, and Matt Cole is also artistic director of Lane Theatre Arts. So um, that was, I think, I'm not too sure, actually, but I think part of my audition was definitely within those rehearsals and yeah. the sort of process of working with them and, and then I was called in for a virtual face-to-face -face audition um, after I had submitted my self-tapes to um, my agent. And then three days later, they gave me the role of Elmer. So, Aww. yeah, it's, it's really quite quite surreal, to be honest. I remember that day because I was at college and, um, and then I sort of walked into the... I think we were doing a rehearsal. I can't remember what it was. I think, oh, yeah, it was... Um, it was another rehearsal for another college project. And then I walked into the room after I'd sort of spoke to my agent outside and everyone was like, yeah. And it, there's just this massive, yeah. like incredible feeling, like absolutely electrifying. And um, yeah, best day, best day of my life. And that, that week was actually my birthday as well. Oh, um, wow. It was Even just the best, the best birthday present. Yeah. Who did you call first? Who was the first person you rang after that? Uh, my mum. Oh, yeah, mom. lovely. Now, obviously, from there, you went into the rehearsals. Now, this show is no easy game. Um, so what was the intensity of rehearsals like? Did they build you up to that or did you just was it very intense from the off? Uh, from the get go, I, I think it was quite, quite intense. They mm -hmm. kind of made it clear that the show was 
physically demanding um vocally and etc so from definitely from day one it was it was clear that we were going to be aching um we were after literally the second day I, I remember coming home and I could barely walk to be honest um but no it's all it's all rewarding and it's all worth it and uh, makes me stronger so well, yeah that's very true now how long did you have to rehearse Newsies? uh it's quite quick it was I think it was three weeks maybe four we had one week that was sort of dedicated to tech and dress rehearsals. Mm. Um, and then the other weeks were just me and obviously the new cast as well. So we had Spencer, yeah. um, we had Morgan and we had Owen um, and Mambo, of course. But Mambo sort of rehearsed somewhere else. She wasn't quite with us. Yeah. Um, she wasn't sort of um, doing the same role as us. Mm. Um, so we were at Wembley Park with Jane and the dance captain Alex and we kind of just went over everything and um I think yeah it took us about three weeks before wow putting it on stage yeah that's that's fast yeah yeah Yeah. especially especially for the way the show is as well it's a lot to take in in such such a little time but yeah you know well I think it's it's tricky as well because there's a lot of sort of parkour it's it's kind of not only the steps it's knowing where you're gonna go um between scenes and the transitions and things like that yeah that was quite tricky that wasn't sort of that was something that i really got to learn during tech because obviously there's only so much you can do in an actual well, studio yeah where there's no set around you or anything you need to be in the space to get used to some of the, the things that you do yeah mm. especially flying on the ceiling and all that kind of thing um yeah. <laughs> That's not you can't do that in the rehearsal room. I don't think. No, no, no. no. Uh, what was the biggest challenge you faced then, and how did you overcome that challenge? The biggest challenge, um, I think, for me, was the fear of getting injured so early on. Mm. And actually, it it kind of did happen. To be honest, I I after the second week, I just my groin just kind of couldn't take it anymore um which luckily two weeks in I think it was two weeks in we actually had a week off oh. I used those best believe I used those seven weeks um to just do absolutely nothing uh rest legs up ice all of that um and then I was back on track and then so I, I obviously saw a physio um yeah. in, in the week um gave me exercises to do just to sort of strengthen everything up again and and then back on and I haven't sort of come off since so fingers crossed we're good wow that is that is a challenge but it's a good good one to overcome as well yeah yeah exactly you overcame it by sort of it happened and yeah you got through it it's it's kind of it is a little bit inevitable with this show I think a, a lot of us I don't think there's any there's a there's one person that's made it through the entire contract without coming off the show um wow so I mean there might have been maybe one or two. Um maybe Ross. I think yeah, Ross is is the one that's just sort of gone straight through without coming off. Um but Ross is just a machine. So <laughs> you're all machines. I do not know how you do it. Um no, it's 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 very physical. How do you personally look after yourself for this? Because it must take a lot of preparation before you even enter the theatre to get ready for the show. Yeah, well, there's just a lot of um management routines, and it, this is one of the things for me. I kind of settled into the show very later on. It it took me about a month, really. It took me a month to sort of fully settle into the show. Um, and there's certain things that you kind of training doesn't really cover to 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 just brace yourself for what's going to happen because, um training is very different to yeah. to just performing consecutively consecutively um under pressure as well to an audience so um there's certain things for me i i actually have one of these right here this is a foam roll i just get home after the shows and i just roll out everything nice and actually as well this kind of works as a win win because this helps with balance as well um oh. which i don't really quite know the science behind it but rolling out all the muscles just kind of gets you prepared for the next day and it's kind of 
one of the best um therapy um tools that you can use for a show we also do ice baths as well Ooh. recently started doing ice baths and they are brutal <laughs> <laughs> i bet they yeah. are after a show when you've got all your muscles pumping and you know you're you're as warm as you can be to just suddenly plunge into um, you know 10 below 10 degrees water is just Ooh. it's hard but you've got you've got to overcome it if you want to yeah keep going, so yeah but it makes you feel nice though afterwards the after effect is beautiful it is mm. very nice <laughs> yeah and then i imagine a lot of stretching and all that kind of thing yeah 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 and i imagine you have to keep a quite a strict diet too with with it all uh i mean for me i just think of obviously you know if it's green eat it um yeah. but the protein is just the most important thing yeah protein, protein you need you need those muscles to repair i take supplements as well um fish oil vitamin d vitamin c um just because vitamin d because we spend a lot of time indoors we don't really get to see the sun much yeah so for me you know coming from the south of france um is something that i need <laughs> need the sun yeah i, the I mean how have you all been dealing with the heat we've had recently that's been quite warm uh it has been warm it <sighs> definitely has i think it within it was a bit of a shock when we kind of first were introduced to the heat and we didn't have any I mean, the aircon was there, but we didn't sort of really use it because we didn't sort of know how much we would have to use it. Yeah. And then after the first week of when, you know, the heat really started hitting us, that's when everyone sort of came together and said, right, we need to get this air conditioning operating again. Um, because it gets, it, it does, it can get overwhelmingly hot on stage, especially with the lights and mm. and. And also, I guess having so many people in the audience, um, it's just an extra um, bit of heat added. So yeah, there's a lot of people breathing in there. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been very warm. I do I do feel for you guys having to uh, whack out a full show in in this heat because uh, I'm just dying. I don't I don't like the heat. Um, yeah, it's funny because I I I prefer feeling hot actually exercising so if i was hot mm -hmm. just sitting down I'd, i think i'd be that's a bit fun. more that's that for me is worse because i'm so used to just sweating out everything when i'm working out so yeah that's definitely a better thing there's something to do i suppose yeah yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah but it's as i say it's a phenomenal show now do you have a favorite number in the show oh seize the day yeah definitely seize the day a classic um, reason being is because it's so demanding that the only way is through it just yeah. is the only way is through and and it's it's one of those things you can you'll be in pain if especially if you've got like a little injury you know there or here but actually being able to come together and and uplift each other on stage is is really a surreal kind of experience mm. so i'd definitely say season day that is it's a very good answer um do you have any favorite memories from just, I mean, I'm assuming there's loads of memories that you have, but is there anything that really stands out to you? Um, oh, it's got to be so, it's got to be so many. It's one of those questions where it, I kind of think of so many, but I can't quite pick one. <laughs> yeah. Because the entire thing is just every second is, is an enjoyable experience. So, yeah. Um, oh, trying to think. I think it's got to be it's got to be moments on stage where I just there's one recently um where I was on stage and I was kind of, we had cups on the table and um and Matt Trevoro who plays Henry was sitting opposite me and we kind of have this like sort of gig where I kind of swap the cups around and you know I pretend to um discreetly without him knowing grab his other cup but the other day I kind of just grabbed the two of them and then just started making a cocktail out of it. And we both just laughed on stage. So I think that was um, my favorite moment on stage, but there's so many Brilliant. backstage that I couldn't, couldn't quite pick one because they're all just such amazing moments. I love these little things that just happen. I think that's one thing that's really special about news is the depth to it. It's like, you know, you making cocktails, things like this are happening and it just makes it so much more real yeah um, that's something i have just love about the show and and obviously 
the immersive value of it too is is quite something else. Um, it it's it must see if if anyone has not seen it, which I really do suggest that you do go and see it before it's gone because it's just amazing. It's 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 beautiful theatre, and if if you've not seen anything like it, even go and see it. Um, if you could play another role in the show, who would you choose? This is like a very typical question. Hmm. I think I'd play Race. Hmm. I think I'd play Race. Um, it's funny because I actually did a project at college. Um, we did Newsies, and um, Aww. it was for somebody else's degree piece, and I got to play Race. And there was always this kind of joke after after I got Elmer, um, people were saying, "What if you actually got Race for the show?" Um, which would have been incredible but i mean it's still you know it's still uh, yeah. i mean you but, can always just become cover race if you really fancy. I, I could just ask and yeah see what happens but no i think race is just such a uh an intriguing character the more yeah. you, you can uh, especially josh playing race i think is just brilliant um and i think the more you kind of get to see it the more you pick out little details and you think this this character's spot on yeah, and you've all built up your characters so nicely. Um, from what I've seen from the Newsies fandom, there's people constantly asking you all for your character backstories and things. Yeah. What What is your character's backstory? Uh, so Elmer actually doesn't know what happened to his parents. Um, he he kind of just uh, he's been invited into obviously the the Newsies the the, the kind of boy group and. Um, he kind of didn't feel very secure within within himself before that and I think the way that he was sort of introduced and the way that everyone kind of welcomed him into the pack made him feel like he could he didn't have to sort of settle for less anymore yeah. um before then he was kind of you know working for a lot less than he he is now which is still if you you know if you watch the show it's still they only just get by you know barely to to sleep at night and (laughs) and it's hard out there so I think Elmer had sort of been used to those conditions before joining the the news um but yeah he's 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 a he's a very work hard working young man (laughs) which I like to think I am as well well yeah clearly I mean there you are in newsies on the west end so There we go. Um, now, one big final question is, why should people come and see the show? Uh, this show is because you just have to. I just don't know how. It's just got, like, everything that has been missing in the West End for for a while now. I think it's, it's, it's for me, I, of you know, working, having done Billy Elliot, there are so many things within this show that I naturally sort of compared to and I think it's it's been it's been gone for so long and it's back yeah Uh, especially having COVID as well sort of um wipe out a lot of things and and you know this a lot of things have kind of gone from from what was there Mm. and I think the intensity and the hard work is is better than than ever yeah. Um, and it is, it's quite a heartwarming show, to be honest, because yeah. you, you think about how much we, we work and how hard it is, but it is also so rewarding. And so we come together with the audience because it's such an immersive experience. It's kind of uh, everyone's included. So it's, for, it's, it's you know, rewarding for us as much as it is for, for the audience. Yeah, that was a fantastic answer. <laughs> All right. Now, the one thing I need to say is thank you for joining me. It's been such a pleasure chatting with you today, learning all about Newsies. Uh, And thank you to anyone who's watched this episode. Um, You can catch any other episode on the channel. Uh, Subscribe. You can like the video. You can comment if you've enjoyed it. Let us know if you've seen Newsies um, or if you're going to see Newsies because you need to. uh, Grab some tickets from a link in the description and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you for having me. Thank you.